The diversity and amount of environmental and health information in the tracking network is expanding all the time, and we are always working to improve how data are displayed. We recently added two new features that make the data easier to understand and use. Take a look at Shannon, one of our IT experts, demonstrates some exciting new features, rebuild thumbnails, and timeline view. First, I'd like to show you how to use the new rebuild thumbnail feature. I've already pulled up an example query. Right now, we're looking at air pollution with levels of PM 2.5 by year. And as you can see, both the main map and all the thumbnail maps at the bottom are zoomed out to the national level. You may notice an area where you want more detail. For this example, let's zoom in on the map around Kansas City. Notice that the thumbnails at the bottom are still at the national view. You can adjust the thumbnails to match the main display by simply clicking on the Rebuild Thumbnail icon located on the map canvas here. All the thumbnails zoom into the same area you selected in the main viewing window. Now let's take a look a little east of Kansas City. You can drag the map over and click Rebuild Thumbnails again. Just like that, the thumbnails rebuild so you can see highly individualized data over multiple maps. Now let's take a look at how this feature works with two maps side by side. All you have to do is click on the View Two Large Maps icon over here. Now you can drag a thumbnail up to the main viewing window on the right. Now you can directly compare differences in data from two different years. When you're viewing two maps side by side, you can also use the Link Map icon over here. Then any change you make to one map will automatically happen to the other as well. And you can even see pop-ups on both maps that allow you to compare details from the data. Next, let's take a look at our new Timeline feature. The Timeline is a new tool that can help you more easily see trends in data over time. You can use it for single geographic areas with multiple years worth of data. Here's a query for asthma hospitalization, adjusted for age in California. For the Timeline view, all you have to do is click on Alternate Map Views and switch to Timeline View. Now that you're in Timeline mode, you can slide between years by clicking on the yellow dot and dragging, just like this. For the same effect, you can navigate by clicking Next and Back. You can also set the map in motion on its own by clicking the Play button. Now you can sit back and watch the data come alive. A unique feature of the Timeline mode is the ability to customize the map as it slides across the timeline. You can do things like add a background layer. Here's the satellite background map, but street map and terrain map background layers are also available. You can also do things like zoom and drag the map as it moves across the timeline. I hope you visit the network today and try out these new features. Thanks, Shannon. Try these new features for yourself and check back often to see how we're growing. Visit the tracking network today at www.cdc.gov/eph tracking.